Ego Power Plus. Okay, with any chainsaw, whether it's electric or gas, needs to have a bar oil. Okay, so that's where the fill is here. Now, it's hard to see in this light right here, and I think it's actually a little too full even, uh, but there is a bar oil window right here, and so you're just going to open up this little cap, okay, very simply, and fill it with bar oil, okay. Um, there's a little filter screen in there, you can stick your finger in there and snap it out if you want. But then there's that, okay. The other thing is really going to be all associated with the bar and the chain itself, okay? This is an Oregon 14 inch bar, which is great that they chose Oregon because very easy, they've been around for a long time, very easy to get replacement bars, okay? Now that tension of the, of the chain is actually about spot on. The problem is when your chain gets loose, I don't care how sharp it is, it's not going to cut and I'll show you why. To loosen, to adjust your chain, first you got to loosen this big nut right here, which is really easy to do. Actually, you can do this all toolless. Uh, they do have a screw over here where you can stick a screwdriver and adjust it with the tool, but it's not necessary. Right here you see the chain's loose, the chain's tight, there's little pictures. Maybe you can't see it so well, but anyways, let's back this off. Alright, now see, check that out. The chain is loose. So to kind of exaggerate the, the idea a little bit, when you cut, if your chain is loose, it doesn't sit in the bar. It ends up rolling out of the bar and sliding next to it. Now there's nothing holding the chain tight in place, so when you're trying to cut, it just doesn't dig into the wood, okay? So I had someone once like trying to like say, well, I need to sharpen my chain again. I'm like, you just sharpened it. It didn't hit anything. What do you, what do you mean it doesn't cut? And it was just loose. It wasn't quite that bad. Uh, that's exaggerating. On this one here, I find that you basically just kind of tension it up to where it's fairly tight with your fingers. And I could probably just be a little bit Right about there. You don't go crazy torque, but you don't want it too tight or you put stress on the chain. So you want to be able to pull it where it nearly comes out, but doesn't. Now we're gonna tighten that back up. And booyah, check that again. Spot on, guys. Like I said, that you'll find it once you start using it, that perfect balance of not too tight, um, but not too loose. Now, what about sharpening this chain, okay? Now, I'll, I'll put it up there on the screen so I forget right where I'm talking. But there is a, a certain thickness of a file to use for these teeth, and I have a video on sharpening a chainsaw blade, which is very, very awesome. I want to thank you again for joining me on this video on how to uh, do the standard maintenance on the Ego Chainsaw. Um, so thanks for watching it. Over here, let's take it over here. Let's do a subscribe for my channel. Please click that, it always helps out. Down below it will be a link to my website. Now, up top here, I will do the video for sharpening the chainsaw blade. And then just another video for you guys to watch down below that. Guys, please share this video, and thanks again.